morning YouTube uh, I'd like to do a couple stories on the funny things that happen in prison you know not all things are bad you know but before I do I want to tell you guys you should go over and check out Chad and blood on the razor wire he's got good content he's trying to keep people out of prison so go check him out also if you're new subscribe hit that like you know comment I try to answer all the comments that I can and uh, share this video okay let's get into it so when I was at licking before I got a job in recreation I worked in uh, food service it's mandatory that you do 90 days in food service well I worked in the prep room which is where they cut the meat and cheese and stuff you know. and, uh, so I, we usually get done before everybody else you know so we got done so this young kid he starts filling up these gloves with water making balloons out of them and throwing them well he uh I started doing the same thing so we get to chasing one another you know you have to kind of use two gloves so make sure they don't come apart and bust and I'm standing down at the end of this row there's a row of stoves and then there's a row of uh, mixers and uh, I'm down at the end of it and he throws one at me well I was kind of not quite at the end but he throws one at me and I duck and about that time this uh, staff cook comes around the corner and it hits her right in the chest and I don't know why but it busts well she was mad but she wasn't real mad because she was kind of laughing about it she's just mad because she got wet but she told him that I, I know you guys was uh doing this and I know you started that you know um, so I'm trying to decide whether to write you up or not And uh, I said, well, if you're going to write him up, you should write me up, too, because I was throwing him, too. And she goes, well, I didn't see you throwing him. But he's been throwing them all morning. And I, I insisted. I said, well, if you write him up, you, you have to write me up. Well, it ends up that she didn't write him up, but she told him not knock it off and I told him I said you know we just passing time you know he didn't mean to hit you by our rights he could have got an assault that's the way they do it in Missouri this next story I don't know if it's a funny story or an awkward story maybe it was both but if you've heard you know that that TV show kids say the darnest thing well this is one of the ones where a prisoner said the darnest thing you know the whole conversation was it's weird to me you know so I I'd, I'd got a release date you know I, I, I was granted parole it was 16 months away so they send me to Algoa Correctional Center and everything about that place it, it you know my whole 29 years I'd been in high-level prison so I wasn't used to the way people were that a lot of them were disrespectful and you know it was just a whole different type of uh, people there and uh, this is one example there was four of us playing spades 
And that's what we do in prison. We play spades. Some people play poker. I recommend if you go to prison that you don't play poker. You know, you get all your shit taken. Stay away from gambling, drugs, and all that. Anyway, I don't even know how to say this. Anyway, one of them just comes out and says, you know, if, if I could blow myself, then I wouldn't need a woman. So we all just stared at him, you know. And this other guy, across from his spade partner, as a matter of fact, says, well, if you want to do that, you can do me. He, uh, he says, I will, I'm not a homosexual, I'm not gay. The dude says, well, if you'll do yourself, you'll do anybody. So me and my spade partner, we're just kind of sitting there, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm about to leave anyway. I'm tired of this, you know. I don't want to hear this. But the guy turns to me and he says, You hear what he's saying to me? You know, he's basically calling me gay. I said, you know, you, you put yourself in this situation. And if you don't like what he said... You know, hit him in his shit, you know, punch him, start fighting. But I'm out of here. So I get up and leave, and my spade partner is trying to get me to come back. But I told him, I, no, <laughs> that's just too much for me, you know. I guess I got, I guess I got another story I can tell you. It's funny. I got a bunch of funny stories, but uh, I already told a couple, like when I got put in the laundry bag, or I put myself in the laundry bag. But this one here, it's back at Licking, South Central Correctional Center, while I was still in food service. And we used to go into the dress-out room, some of us would, and, and we'd do body shots and we'd wrestle and stuff, you know. Well, I get to wrestling with this young kid, and uh, I picked him up and, and, and just threw him in the... Uh, when I was able to get a hold of him, I picked him up and threw him in this laundry cart. Now there's one guy holding the door shut. Because he, he don't want none of these lames coming in and them running back out and telling on us. And that's what they do. The guy gets out of the laundry cart and he's kind of in his feelings about it because we're all laughing, you know. He said, one more time, one more time. We got to go again. We got to go again. So we went again. Well, we're in the middle. We're on the floor and in the middle. And all of a sudden, the guy holding the door, who is my workout partner, somebody feels somebody trying to come in. And he uh, keeps pushing back against the door, not letting him in. Finally, the guy says, C.O., so he opens the door and he sees us and he almost immediately goes for his mace and everybody says oh no no they're just wrestling so he stands there a minute he says I could write you guys up for horse playing he said because I, I just I almost maced you there is a rule no horse playing you know stupid but I guess I kind of understand but anyway you know so I'm just like well whatever you know heck with it but everybody else trying to talk him out of it we was just having fun and he, finally he says all right don't let me catch you guys doing that again and he said I'll write you up but it was funny when he first busted through that door you know he was just like you know but anyway that was kind of the end of that because you know we didn't want to uh, 
get a violation for just uh, having fun, you know. And that's all we are doing. We just having fun, you know. Uh, passing the time. I mean, we was done with our work. And so we just passing time, you know. But, uh, and horse playing will get you sent to the hole. I mean, you do 10 days in the hole. And then probably a couple more days waiting on bed space, you know, at least a day or two. You, you never get out immediately, you know, when you're supposed to. You do once in a while, but a lot of times you're waiting. You gotta wait a day or two for bed space, you know, for a fight or something. All right, that's all I got for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. This video. Like I said, share it, you know, leave a comment, and uh, I'll comment back. Thank you. Thank you.